So, back again with another horror story, and this time it is Deep Sea, because apparently you guys love it. Well, to my, uh, my horror fanatics, especially my friend Savannah, shout out to getting into uh, the University of New Mexico. You're growing up, girl. Alright, never mind that. Um, yeah, this one dates back to me, uh, I guess I was like 15, and I guess I was like hanging out with, uh, my godfather, and he had such a huge yacht, I was like, oh my god, and I'm just like, so apparently my mom, you know, we went on the, like, apparently he knows, like, um, how to do a yacht, he's, uh, a former coast guard, he's a former cop, he was in the highest department, whatever that is, and a few other things, and he's, a, like, the best, and he's a former captain of a ship, but I cannot name that. So. Trust me, I was the only one that could hang out on the on the parts. Like, I can't even be on the captain's bridge. Because I'm spoiled. Okay, never mind that. So apparently we went on the yacht. And I guess it was a nice little summer day in August. You know, basically, this thing had everything. A buffet, a library, a huge movie theater. Um, let me see. Luxury yet fancy rooms. And apparently, um, my godfather had a room for me. Yes, I have my own room thanks to him. And it was a galaxy theme because apparently I had you. I'm getting a galaxy phone soon. Well, a galaxy, not a cell phone, but a galaxy cover. So apparently, one night, um,. I guess, like, I was eating dinner, and I was in the buffet room, just, like, having a steak, mashed potatoes, with the gravy, green beans, and I had a little bit of a fruit, you know, and a drink. Gotta have some Fanta soda. Oof, love it. And, um, apparently, um, apparently, uh, one of the workers takes the dishes. I just kind of... Uh, I kind of just, like, go back to my room, and I find out my door is open. So I thought maybe it was one of my brothers or my sisters just, you know, doing that type thing, and, um, what happened? Um, I thought, and I had asked them if they were fucking with me, and, like, you know, so like, I'm like, hey, did you open up my room? My brother's like, no. And I'm like, why is my door open? So I asked all my brothers and my siblings and everything, and I'm like, who opened my door? And I'm just like, okay, that's weird. So apparently I closed my door for the night and um, I go to sleep and I'm just like, I wake up, it's like, I don't know, four, five in the morning. Oh, and hell. Yeah. The door part kind of got me like monsters. Yeah. And I to you. Yeah, um, hold on. Sorry guys, I'm just typing something really quick. Uh, okay. So apparently I find, um, a hand coming out of the closet. Like, I just see fingers coming out of the closet, and apparently the door opens, and I just see, like, I see eyes, like, you know, basically I'm like, it looks like, I'm like, is that a fucking demon? So apparently I take out a mace, but I start screaming. And this guy's, like, chasing after me in the hallway, so my, apparently everybody gets up and my godfather comes in from the hallway, blindsiding him and tackling his, um, tackling him to the, like, to the ground. And I guess the, the water police, the boat police got, like, called in, and I'm just, like, so I'm in my room, basically freaked out. Because apparently this guy took some stuff that I cannot name due to classified reasons. And it really hurt to know that, um, I have a lock on my door. And apparently, I guess, somehow in some way, he got the key card. So I had a key card to that room, and I guess he took it. So me not knowing that he, um, that he took it, and I'm a little shocked, because I'm like, that's just so stupid that you would take a key card. He's a perv. I really hate it, though, that people have to be a frickin' pervert and be like, yeah. And I really hate it, though. Hey, 
way you walk into your, your waking nightmare. Yeah, trust me, if you want to be like my cousin when she was that. And apparently, I'm just like, okay, well, you know, eventually the police got him and they apprehended him, but basically, he has like, uh, curly hair, so this guy has some curly hair, like, down to his neck. And he just, like, was laughing, and he was, like, they actually, he reeked of liquor, and I, like, literally hate the smell of any liquor or wine or beer, any of that alcoholic beverage type stuff. So, me not knowing, um, I guess, like, apparently they had to scout the whole entire yacht to find out if this guy had intentions or... If there was other people aboard, but eventually they found somebody hiding in the boiler room, and they took him out, I rapprehended him. <laughs> Why do you want to hire a boiler room? I wouldn't hide there if I was you. You might yeah. be sweat, or you might be smelled by gas. Yeah, well apparently I guess like, cause, and then I think one of the guys was talking to my godfather and said like, Oh, what's up? I haven't seen you in a long time. I was like... He's like, I know your niece, you know, he's like, oh, my, um, me and my ste your stepdaughter and her go to school together, and I'm like, what? Yeah, it turns out I went to school with, uh, the daughter Snow, and I'm like, oh my god, I went to, I'm like, she never told me about that stuff. Yeah, and I guess, like, apparently, um, I went to, um, we still stayed on the yacht, it was the summer, so... And I guess my godfather, like, made so many barbecue food. Hot dogs, steak, burgers, you know, a lot of meat and all that barbecue stuff. Even to know that, um, and he did make chicken for my other two brothers because apparently my two other brothers just, um, they don't, they're so picky and I hate it. I absolutely hate it when there's picky people, and apparently my cousins are also picky. I mean, he basically had, um, six kids, my godfather. Whew. My apologies for yawning, ladies and gents. Okay. So, you know, everything goes back to normal, but, um, apparently, I guess there was, like, another boat next night, and they're asking for gasoline and food, but apparently we don't usually give that out, because there's a lot of crazy people, and I think we don't know these people, and they actually were known to, um, apparently they have taken gasoline, but eventually... They did sink a boat in shark-infested waters over by the uh, Indian Ocean type countries. So apparently, someone apparently almost died from uh, getting attacked by um, because there was fire and the boat was sinking fast, and only about five 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 lifeboats out of ten were put into action, and apparently. Yeah, it was nighttime over there, and that, um, between, it, it was basically over, uh, off the coast of India, and somebody almost died from a shark. Well, um, and plus, not to mention that, oh, in the Indian Ocean area and the Pacific Oceans are very much shark infested. I mean, I was over, yeah, I was over by the, uh, Pacific area, by, like, the U.S. type thing, and apparently, um... Yeah, but, you know, we ended up not giving the guy the food or anything, because apparently these guys do apparently rob, and eventually the boat police were called again, and they had to... They managed to catch the guys, but turns out they just do that to, you know, they just want, they act poor, but they really just tend to get away with things. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, I really just don't even get it, but to know that, um, I guess by one night, I guess I was eating ice pops with my two sisters, we were watching, um, baseball, and, you know, we're huge MLB fans, like the Seattle Mariners, 
So we're here at Nice Pops, chilling out, and I guess um, we hear a thud from a window, and apparently there's like a porthole window, and it had glass. And I'm just thinking maybe it's like the waves hitting it. No, it's actually somebody just like crawling like this. Uh, and I'm just like, apparently my godfather somehow threw the guy. <sighs> I mean, it hurt, but to know that somebody could do something like this is um, crazy. Uh, yeah, um, apparently the guy, apparently after, uh, by the end of August, there was, like, nothing left to be creepy, so apparently, I guess by the end of August, we just, like, literally made a head back to shore, and we did see Oakland, though. It was kind of nice knowing that, um, it was kind of nice to, uh, see parts of California, Oregon, um, maybe Seattle and other things. But, like, we were eating, like, basically. But, um, I just tend to have, like, and the, di like, everything was good. It's basically one of those big fancy yachts. And it was really, like, I'm not rich or anything. Who cares about wealth? I mean, I don't. Because, you know, if you're, like... Paradox from Sly Cooper 4, Thieves in Time. His wealth pretty much took over him. But, uh, yeah. Um, I don't really tend to know it, but I'm just, like... I mean, I pretty much had almost died if it wasn't for, you know, that guy. Because apparently, the guy that was in my room at, like, 4.30 in the morning, he had, like, a knife in, um, the thing. And he basically had, like, a cowboy hat, a flannel, and apparently he had a gun in his holster. Eventually, my godfather tasered that guy and got him, like, arrested on the spot. <sighs> um, eventually I came back around September, well, September 2nd, because my brother's, uh, birthday was the first, so we ended up staying an extra day. Let's just say he got spoiled. He got a lot, he, like, he basically had a huge cake because he played baseball back then. And, um, he got, like, the hugest meal. He got, like, the hugest meal ever. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, brunch, even, uh, dessert. And apparently, like, my godfather goes crazy when it comes to birthdays. But the best part is my brother got a huge basket of candy, all that he liked. Yeah, pretty much, um, the story ends with the good ending. I, um, eventually enjoyed, uh, by the time we got back to, uh, shore, we had, like, a fun time, but apparently my godfather has somebody that lives in the boat, because, um, they watch over it and notify him of any suspicious activity. That was, like, this is basically my, um, deep sea horror story. If you have any of your deep sea horror stories... Share in the comments, because I'd really love to hear them and talk to you through the comments. My name is Jade, and I'm signing out. Dude, sign out. Dude, sign out. Peace, guys.